Holy gang, I am over here at Sonic today to try their returning, I believe, pickle fries. And I'm really pissed. Yeah! Welcome back to Old Nerd Reviews. I'm Tony, your old nerd of the day, and I do try things so you don't have to. So, yeah. These are returning items, I believe. I've seen them on the menu before, but they kind of come and go. But pickle fries, it's a southern thing. And I figure now that I'm down in the south, I should do like the natives do. And the reason I'm pissed off is because I got here at 8.05, ordered one single order, one thing. Pickle fries, that's it. No drinks, no nothing else. It took them until 8.25 to get an order of pickle fries out to me. It's in the morning. It's, it's virtually empty here. This is ridiculous, Sonic. But we'll talk about that some more later anyway. So handy dandy steering wheel tray there to keep everything in its place and off my lap. Got the old guy goggles on. Mobile phone of fluff. All right, so the pickle fries are dill pickles cut in a fry shape and fried to pickle perfection. All right, so they're not much, they're nothing else to that, so that's what a pickle fry is. There's the bag it comes in, live free, eat Sonic. And here is the damage right there. Got some napkins in the bag, got some salt, got their peppermint there as usual. Got some sauces down here. Let's see what I got. Uh, ranch, 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 ranch dressing. All right, and oh wow, there are pickle fries. I was hoping they'd be like a little bit more solid and a little bit crisper looking. Those are freaking weird. I mean, look at. Dangle, dangle, dangle there, buddies. I'm gonna open up the ranch. I think they have a buttermilk ranch too. I think that's what I had last time with whatever I had. And it was, it was, um, it was very uh, liquidy, uh, but it, it tasted good. Now this is different because this is not very liquidy at all. It's, it's, it's nice and thick. Okay, these are really freaking odd, let me tell you. I don't even know where to start here. Okay, um, let's do this bad boy right there. Look at how limp that freaking thing is. Okay, let's give it a shot. Finish that off. Okay, that one's a little bit better. It's kind of standing up on its own. Let's dip this in the ranch. See what kind of flavor we get out of this one. The ranch is good, um, and it takes away the, the tartness of the pickle, at least initially. Yeah, there's still a bunch of southern things down here that I haven't tried. I haven't tried pig's feet yet, uh, pig lips, um, tripe. Uh, there's a bunch of stuff. I mean, you can find it over at Piggly Wiggly. Piggly Wiggly is, is a cool store, and it's very notorious for having all kinds of southern type of foods. There's another one. Take another dip in that ranch. Mm. All right, so the damage, the normal damage, I got this through the app. I always use the mobile app. I'm gonna drive that home to you. I always use mobile apps wherever you go. Things are way too expensive, and if you can get deals and money off and free stuff, you got to do it. So in the mobile app, this is a medium pickle fry, and I got this for $1.49, but the regular price of a medium pickle fry is $3.29. 
Yeah, that is kind of expensive for a side. See, a lot of these things are breaded very unevenly, and yeah, the the presentation kind of sucks. All right, so let me go ahead and break this down. First off, oh, there's a kitty. Hi, kitty. He's looking for some pickle fries. I think he's gonna get some. So there's a lot of them in here, and but as I said, they're breaded very unevenly. They're pretty limp for the most part. Uh, they don't stand on their own. Uh, the breading has a crunch to it when I get something with breading on it. Uh, the pickle, the pickle is tart. Um, it does have a nice crunch to it also. Um, which surprises me actually by the looks of these and and I don't like dill pickles I'm not a dill pickle fan. I don't like them on burgers. I don't like them on hot dogs I don't like them anywhere Near me. I'm I'm somebody who likes sweet pickles. I like bread and butter pickles stuff like that, but Dill pickles. I just don't do anything else no, that's pretty much it. On the Nerdometer, I would give uh, those puppas there, those pickle fries from Sonic, um, I think I would give these a medium meh. <clears throat> they could be a lot better. Presentation sucks. They're unevenly breaded, um, and they're just limp all over the place for the most part. And I think that qualifies for that rating. But as far as the product itself goes, if these were breaded better, um, these would be okay. You, you really got to like dill pickles in order to enjoy these. These aren't, you know, your, your fries or your onion rings that you're going to pop. Well, don't ever get onion rings at Sonic, but regular onion rings they, they you're popping in your mouth one after another and you're going, oh yeah, these are so wonderful. You, you got to have a really dill pickle palate for these. I wonder if I take these things home and stick them in the air fryer, if I can crisp them up a lot better and bring them back to life uh, or pre-life because I don't think these things had a former life. Um, I don't know. I'll try it. Air fryers are known to do that. Uh, I think I'm going to give the rest to that kitty. Kitty, where are you? He probably won't like him either. All right, there you go, gang. Another review in the bag. Thank you so much for watching and tuning in. You guys have a freaking awesome day. I'll see you on the live streams. Take care. Bye. Fried pickles and a McFlurry, one right after another. That is a freaking weird combination.